Welcome back everyone, Coin Bros here with you once again, finally with another coin roll hunting video. I have been hunting through coin uh, ever since the last video, just haven't found any silver whatsoever, so I didn't have any videos to put out for you guys, but I know this one I'll put out for sure no matter what, just because there's some other information in the video that I'd like to get across to you guys. So, we've got the four halves and two dimes to go through this week. Um, I'll show you. I've been working on um, some uh, silver pours. If you guys didn't know already, I was doing that as well. Um, these are the first few that are for sale. I'll grab this one here. Kind of show you the design a little bit. It's pretty much um, the... Coin Bros logo is stamped on each brick close to that. Each brick comes with their own certificate of authenticity, just like that. And so right now, um, all of these are for sale. Um, if you're interested, get a hold of me on Instagram or comment on here and we can try uh, to get something figured out for that. Just let me know, they are available. I have already sold a complete set, the two by two, two by three, and two by four. Someone bought an entire set already. So I will make more eventually, but as of right now, this is all I have. Um, you could buy enough to make a full set out of it as I still have a two by two, three two by threes, and a couple two by fours. But yeah, that's what I've been doing um, along with coin roll hunting so far. So like I said, let me know uh, if you guys are interested. I can get you prices without, without a doubt on them. Um, other finds that I've been having lately, I found a 1909 VDB wheat penny, um, which was pretty cool to find. Uh, never imagined I would find one of those, but did. Um, and then... Just last week, I had the best box of nickels that I've ever had for buffalo heads. I can't remember offhand how many there were, but I will have that number for you guys at the wrap-up. It was an insane amount. We had two uh, buffalo head enders, which I did end up opening because you got to know how many <laughs> buffalo nickels were in your record box, so... Again, I'll let you guys know at the end of the video. Enough talking from me. Let's get into these rolls and see what we can find. Well, that didn't take too long at all. Just 10 rolls into the box. We've got a silver, pretty evident which one it is. Pull it out and see what we got. Looks like a D mint mark there, so it'll be a 1964, 90%er. Sweet. First one of the box, end of the hunt, and first silver in a while, really. <laughs> so, can't complain at all. Hopefully that's a good sign for what's to come. Moving right along to box number two. Nothing to be found in that second box, but we'll get right into this third one here and see if we can hit something. Moving on to our final box of halves for the week. If we don't find anything here, we'll get right into the dimes and see if we can find anything in those. It is now time for the dimes. We'll get right into it. I've got both boxes up here ready to go. Just show you the enders on all of them right away. And we'll get right into it to see what we can find. Not too far into this first box here. I almost threw it into the bag because I almost didn't see it but caught it right at the end there. We got our first silver dime. Let's see what the date is. It is a 1951 Philadelphia. Very good. First silver dime in the hunt. Hopefully we find some more. We were good for it for a while. Hopefully we get into that rhythm again. Just getting into that second box now. You can see we got a silver right there. See what we got. Very nice. Mercury head dime. 1945. San Francisco. 
sweet it's a good find always like to pull the mercs i'll let you guys know if we find anything else Alrighty guys, Coin Bro is back with you here. Not at the same area that I usually hunt my coins, but knew I had to do the wrap up, so I took the finds along with me so I could do the wrap up and get this video out to you guys. We did finally find silver once again this week. Um, good to get back into it. Had that 90% Kennedy that's in really nice shape. Our favorite Mercury Dime and a Silver Roosevelt Dime as well. So overall, very good finds. Um, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, if you guys liked any of those Silver Lego pours, reach out to me either in the comments on this video or over on Instagram as well. Either one will work. I'll try to get back in contact with you, get you a price if you're interested, and we can go from there. Until next week, guys, good luck with your hunts, stay safe, and I'll catch you on the next one.